As an artist who's been at the top of both the American and Canadian charts, Paul Brandt wears many hats. And one of the new hats Paul is proud to wear is that of a mentor for High Valley, an exciting new band whose soaring harmonies have earned them a reputation as a must-see live act. In the music business in general, it's a very tough business, and, and uh, you do have to be driven and focused and, and um, know what you're about. And I, I did not find a lot of um, mentor-type people in the industry when I was starting. I, I don't think that there was that one or two people who I could call up at any minute and know I was going to get an unbiased and honest answer. And, and I, I had always thought, you know, if I ever have the opportunity to be able to do that, um, I, I really want to, um, because there's so much that you can share and so many things that you can help out with. And, and um, you know, I know that you know with the guys, I, I hope that they feel the feel this way, but. Um, we do chat on the phone from time to time, and if they ever have questions or anything that I can help out with, I, I love to be able to do that sort of thing. I hear the sweetest sound, my world stops turning around, like I'm on holy ground. When you call, when you call my name, it says the sky on fire, burning with my desire. performing together for about 13 years now. We always work super hard to make sure that every show we do grabs the crowd and involves the crowd. I, I guess we don't want to settle for being background noise. So we'll, we'll do whatever it takes. We'll even bring somebody onto stage to sit there while we serenade them with a uh, low German Mennonite Backstreet Boys song, you know? We love being able to perform together as brothers. It's it's a really exciting and fun experience. Sometimes we want to kill each other, yeah. <laughs> but we we uh, sort of learn to get over that kind of thing before we go on stage, you know. Yeah. And we learn to deal with it pretty good. The true test, you know, for any brothers out there, if you want to see if you really love each other, is spend you know 160,000 kilometers in a van together in two years and. <laughs> and if you're still in a band together after that, I'd say you're doing pretty good. They weren't just saying goodbye. They weren't just seeing me off. They were just making sure that I don't forget where I'm from. High Valley is just an incredible group. And I started, you know, kind of just tracking and following along with what they were doing and got to finally see a show. He uh, left a card for us at the table, so we called him early, uh, quickly after the show and uh, we started communicating with him and a few months later uh, Paul's uh, manager I believe it was contacted us and uh, invited us to go on tour with Paul uh, yeah. a couple of Alberta dates and uh, we um, didn't hesitate to say <laughs> yes. They are the real deal and, and um, you know I, I love what they're about too. I love the themes in their music and the things that um, they're trying to promote and, and the things they're trying to say. And uh, so it, if I'm to think of one band that I would want to try and um, you know, use my platform to bring to Canada and bring to the rest of the world, High Valley you know, definitely ranked right up there as soon as I saw what they were doing. So I'm very excited to see the successes that they're having now. John, your lunch kid and a thermos full of cool. September harvest elements to another school day. Fourteen hours worth of work and there were lessons there. Waist deep in those fields of gold. Seven tons of steel and a twelve year old. Working hard just to keep it in a straight line. take so we love to get the crowd singing along with us obviously we're new on the scene so we don't have a ton of songs that people know off by heart so we got to teach them the songs during the show and get them chanting it back with us and and we want people to leave the show not just saying they heard a bunch of music but we want them to actually have heard the words heard the message and also had a blast well I remember when I was opening for uh, Marty Stewart and for Travis Tritt on their Double Trouble tour and to see Marty standing on the side of the stage watching my show gave me such a boost to know that someone who's seen it all and done it all still is kind of getting something out of it. Um, I hope that the guys get that feeling when they when they see me, you know, watching what they're doing as well. 
We owe a lot of thanks to Paul Brand for getting us here to Country Music Week in Vancouver because um, he proposed this incredible idea of having us perform When You Call My Name together with Paul. It happens every time I hear the sweetest sound My world's off turning around Like I'm on holy ground When you call my name I remember uh, when we were rehearsing for When You Call My Name at the CCMAs, you know, and, and uh, we finished the song and Brad turns to me, he's like, so like on the night, like when we're finished, like should I look straight into the camera or like should I like look away or should I like wave? I'm like, dude, you're a rock star now. You can do whatever you want. And I, it brought me back to, you know, me thinking about all those details and I got to be this and, and you just, you got to be yourself. But it was kind of fun to, to see him thinking those things through. And, and uh, I think on the night, they did a really, really great job. And it starts all over again. This feeling deep inside of me. ago that we were like you know standing in line trying to get somebody's autograph and get a picture with somebody quickly and and now um, it seems ridiculous but incredibly cool that people are coming to the dressing room that says Paul Brandt and High Valley and they come and grab us and make sure we have enough orange juice to drink or something you know it's <laughs> it's kind of hilarious uh, we're enjoying it though I mean you know in a few days we'll be back in some shady hotel in small town Saskatchewan and we'll be trying to find our own orange juice, so it's all good. <laughs> no matter what stage, whether it's the CCMA awards show stage, or if you're playing in a coffee shop for five people and have to get out of the way when someone has to get up to go to the bathroom, if you're living that dream and you're doing it because you love it, then you made it. Love it, then you made it. Love it.